Hello and welcome to Mr. Chef with Master Army. Now, following the previous copyright strike we had against us, we are now going into a full force assault against that fraudulent cooking show with a name nothing like our own. As a metaphor for the fakery that perpetuated by these scam artists, I am going to cook for you today these magnificent non-fish fish goujons just for you. Now, we reached out to a goujon delivery service that we know is also on the internet, but unfortunately, due to these issues we've been having, they've been unable to help us. So, without goujon Jean, we are here to make the best of this situation. We are coming for you, unnamed cooking show that barely resembles our show. Right, and now let's go to the fridge where we can get out the magnificent fish, non but not fish, goujons. Right, here we go. 100% plant based, veggie fish, non fish goujons. What could possibly go wrong? They are your tasty plant based replacement for fish goujons. Who wouldn't want a fish goujon when you've got these? Let's get these open. Okay, to open this packet, we need the stab and jab knife. Okay, so now we've got them open and we can have a quick inspection before we get out the frying pan. Yes, that's right, these goujons are frying versions, not for the oven. Who knew? Okay, so let's pick these up and have a look. As you can see, they look almost like goujons, although not quite. Looks pretty much like your standard fish finger. You never know, it might be quite nice. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so we've got the pan on and the oil nice and hot. Now we're putting it in the pan. As you can tell, they're sizzling away just about. We find this with our other non-meat meat product last week. They try to sizzle. They're very weak on sizzle. In they go. Look at these amazing looking non-fish fish goujons. Magnificent. Okay, so they've got to sizzle for about four to five minutes. Let's get out the scoop and drop instrument. Okay, so it's scoop and drop. Oh, look at that. Nicely browned there. Let's get this one. Scoop and drop. Again, that one's almost dropped already. Eager that one is to drop. Premature scoop and drop. You can already smell the aromas of absolutely nothing as these magnificent non fish fish goujons are cooking. Yes, that's right. Absolutely no smell whatsoever from these wheat, soya, non soya, wheat based protein things with flaxseed oil and other dangerous looking chemicals. Now, if only the magnificent and handsome Jujon Jean was here and he could see the magnificent Jujons in all their glory. Yes, Jujon Jean, where are you? We need you back in our lives. I hope you're not injured and dead. And as you can see here, this non-fish fish goujons is showing on the interior fish-like qualities quite marvelous maybe it'll be quite good okay you can see they've turned magnificently golden brown here and now i'm going to delicately plate them up don't they look magnificent Okay, so here I am now in the tasting room. Bob Meadows is back again from his Marshmallows Anonymous meeting. Um, popular demand he was in last week, so it's good that he's here. Right, so here we are with these magnificent, magnificent non-fish fish goujons. Goujon Jean would approve. I think he's trying to kill me with this stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so before we start, let's tear one open to look at that nice, meaty, fishy flesh we have going on here. Oh, as it cracks. Yes, I'll actually give them credit. 
it almost looks like fish as it cracks, just maybe a little bit drier. It's now time for the ratings. Now, first up is appearance. What do you think by the looks of that? See the nice golden brown colour? I would give this five stranglers out of seven. Right, and I would give this probably four. It's not too bad, but a little bit uneven. Probably my own fault there. So the next one is the feel in the hand test. So Bob, will you care to take your pick of these magnificent Jujons? They feel fairly authentic. I don't think David Dickinson would be fooled. But... They do feel a bit like Jujons. To do the brake test as well as part of that to see how fishy it seems. Yeah, I'll give them six cod out of nine for that one. I would give them over 9,000 mackerel out of 12 tuna. It's very fishy. Mm. Yes, it's a good assessment though. And on to stage three, the in the mouth taste test. This better not kill me or I'm going to sue him. What do you think, Bob? It tastes of virtually nothing. Mm. Virtually nothing. It's got the texture when you've got it in your mouth. When it's going down and you're munching it on your teeth. But there is zero taste whatsoever. I therefore give this one Christmas tree out of minus 12 bananas. I would give this 9 Rambutan spuds out of 3. Mm, good assessment now. Okay, so we've just finished our first magnificent non-fish fish, Jujon. And I want to ask your opinion on the most important factor of all of this. Tummy feel. I think Bob there just suffered a malfunction and died. Oh well, I hope I don't have the same problem. Till next time folks, goodbye from Mr Chef with Master Rolney. Oh, just magnificent. Hi, and I'm Jujon Jamie, and here and welcome to MasterChef with Mr. Johnny. Johnny. <laughs>